see if Bond can change that. Let's hope it's not a curse to play Oriana <laughs> all the way to second place, but they're bringing it out in the finals here. Right. This is going to be awesome. All right, let us know who you think is going to win the midseason invitational tweet at LOL Esports and use the hashtag SKTWIN or EDGWIN. We'll see how you are calling this series once we are on the rift and we are about to see what these teams have for each other. EDG has consistently made early game moves towards the bot lane. Not gonna be enough slow. And Bangi just gets control of that jungle. See if Clearlock can prepare this. And this whole setup was pre-planned from SK to oh. A lot of trading in the mid lane. That's low mana for Easy Hill, and those auto attacks are stacking up with the clockwork wind up. Punch shields, just a few more, and it will not be enough. He would have needed two more autos. Nice, that's Ragas. Oh, Bangi is on call right now for Easy Hoon. It's going to be up to him if he can get that red buff after the body slam. One more shield in for Pawn. Still has vision from the ghost, but I think Pawn is going to be able to do it. No! He makes it through the dissonance, then he flies. Oh! Not something that Bengi and Izihun have been known for as a duo, but it's definitely beneficial here. Oh, a little bit of love here in the bottom lane. The swap onto Bang. Deft is in a great position to stop him from getting to the turret. Wolf needs to run away right now, and he does so. But EDG is extremely strong. His Annie is as well, which is why he knows how to play against oh. it so well. Pawn getting stuck in the mid lane. Easy Hoon actually hit him with a Noxus Blast just earlier to stop his back, and it results in the kill as Bengi comes in. Might not be over yet, Riff. Oh, Wolf gets the stun on. A good grab there to stop Bengi's extra damage, but they put clear love in a perfect spot to take him down. Everybody gets out pretty much unscathed on that one. Looks like a bit of a tussle here between the tanks in the top lane is the wet noodle fight. Actually getting down is a pretty low HP here. But it looks like they're just going to trade a few smiles and walk away from this one. Got to talk about the mid lane play for Muzi Easyhoon though. He's used yeah. that early advantage again and again. Marin actually oh. is in trouble. Hey, no, he's looking for that passive heal. Wasn't enough. SKT knew, okay, now we can play aggressive in another lane because we can roam before they can on the bottom side. That's why they went for the dive, got the kill safely. Bengi, he's waiting How in the bush is here. He wait? He's going in now, he's waiting for some more support. Wolf is coming as well. Wolf should be able to get there in time. Very nicely done. Crowd control a bit stacked there, giving Koro time to move right away. But Wolf has the rest to finish this off. The wallop keeps him in place. Nobody else is roaming up here, and EDG is not able to Still get alive. Alive anything. Koro running out, dodges the turn. SKT have set up all the wards we normally see from around the river. EDG, there is teleport for them yes. and not for Marin and his top lane. So they can start it and get a 5 versus 4. EDG has the TP advantage and one of the flaws of SKT this tournament has them been fighting over dragons when they aren't actually prepared to do so. Coral could get his teleport interrupted and they're getting makeup. What a choke point for Wolf to mark his territory with Tibbers. In this best of five series. 29,000 to 20, just about 28,000. And you can see the gold differences here as we approach 20 minutes. And as EDG got the bot lane tower a few minutes ago when we had that trade in the top lane, they can now swap Deft and Mako up here. Marin already being pushed back, and he's going to have to go back to base if he doesn't die. The cavalry is coming through the top lane here for EDG as well. This could be where they dive a little too, too far. They're on to Marin, but that's going to be Koro going down. Do they know to back up now? No, Clearo. Clear Love rather says we're going in with a glacial prison. Now, on to Marin once again, but somehow he stays alive again. And now they're back on to Mako. Six to four in a dive EDG did not want. Marin always making sure to weave in his auto attacks. Here comes the who. Oh, puts up the box. Bengi's going to fly right through the wall. Pick himself up another one. Still focusing throughout the chaos up there and still being able to provide for their teams. Still more focused towards this top side. We know <laughs> EDG's prerequisite to winning a game is having to take that Baron first. Yeah, and also with EDG moving top side, it exactly is for that Baron. Baron, even a kill on Marin, he's Ooh. all alone. All right, so 5v1 is probably going to go in favor of... Other ways of engaging through his support in this situation here. Well, SKT has definitely still been able to find the advantage in this game, keeping EDG to a very uncommon less than a kill a minute here. Vicar. He has very flash. tempered in their play. Wolf stopping out. Coral Bengi right into the middle. No. One. Flashes himself out. Coro tries to get in. A nice ulti coming out of that, and it looks like they're going to try to keep it going. Pawn goes down. There's no focus from the AP carry in the mid now, and they are going to start wearing down on the tanks. Clear love falls. Mako has already gone down. Koro is not long for this world, and Deft is forced to run for the fountain. In order for it to become really a big carry, needs to sit on three items. And that's where we get the yeah. Void Star in as the third item. 
We only completed two now at this point, 27 minutes in. Didn't even have the death cap for that fight at the Dragon. Now Koro, top lane was cool beforehand, but he is way outnumbered. Able to shovel a few backwards, but they already have their assist tag on him. It's not going to be that much of a problem. Actually, I think they're going to give this one over to Easy Hoon. Very well chosen there. 3 0 5. He looks the. You, can, you can't focus on all three lanes at once, so they decided to take two of the mid lane and top lane, so they're completely warded off the jungle, and they pushed down just the two lanes at once. Koro is trying to be annoying and buy time for his team, but he's now being caught all alone. Every time we see him, he's trying to escape down the lane towards this the This is good, though. Pace. This is good, because EDG is trying to push the mid lane, Ooh. and then Mako dies. And Mako dies indeed. Not enough forward wards, as we said before, from EDG here that have been yeah. placed. Barnes Mako wards are off. They're walking right through the sight of SKT still, and now they're going to get routed out from Marn, as you said, Jack. Clear Love's forced to fight him. Deft and Pawn are trying to figure out where they can put their DPS, and Deft actually has to fight Marin now. There's the shockwave, it only hits Bengi, but there's no damage coming out of EDG right now, and they are still forced to turn around, finally wearing down Bengi. Easy Hoon in a good spot now to take down Deft as he gives himself the resistances from the position reverser, but what a skirmish back and forth. EDG looks like they're trying to grab up the scraps here, but SKT is going to find everything that they want. Quickly over the wall, possibly. There's Marin just gonna keep him in place for this last few kills. Not able to get him. <laughs> he refuses to die. Coral, keep running. We believe in you. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> G sales early on here. Having the cleanse on Easy Hoon and the third item QSS on Bang, not only to stop the Urgot position reverses, but also to stop any type of Meganar. And then Bang just goes and makes a flat out mistake in the mid lane. Bang, he hits the ground. On him, and of course for EDG, never stay too far away from this Baron because there's a Kalista, and now they're going in for a fight. Let's see if SKT want to take it. Let's see how they can prioritize this. The ball was on Clearlove, but they pull it back out. Just Koro and Clearlove now to fight three Baroned up members. Easy Hoon has all the time in the world with Bang and Wolf to fire out the DPS. Marm with a great flash. Koro slams him up against the wall. They get a great shockwave on three members of SKT, but Pawn goes down before any. Any follow-up damage can come through. Easy Hoon is still full HP in this fight and just slaughtering people with double fangs. Wolf was able to pick up that last kill. There's one of the hooks that they would have loved in the fight, but it's really just to stave off Easy Hoon's, Easy Hoon's final kill. He'll still land the snakes. He'll still pick it up. Easy Hoon, easy life. EDG's not going to get much better than that Nar into Oriana combo, but then Easy Hoon on that Cassiopeia, as we're saying, unless they get him down, he's going to kill everybody. And yeah, normally EDG is a team that's so good at finding the right target in these team fights, but they've been behind nearly all game long, and SK Telecom looking very strong. Looking at 38 minutes and already on the Nexus turrets. Mako and Clear Love. Pretty big guys, but I don't know if they're big enough or if SKT even cares that they're standing toe to toe with them right now. They are going to finish off the Nexus turrets, and it looks like they're going for a few more kills on the stats. Along with the Nexus, game one of the finals goes to SKT over EDG. That last fight, too, it wasn't an easy job, but somebody had to do it. Marin tanked so much damage for EDG and then still flashed away for a big distraction. A 0-3-13 despite a very difficult laning phase.